Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to episode number 28 of Black Flag Shenanigans. I know I said episode 27 in the last one, but I'm stupid and I was wrong. Surprise! Uh, we should be in Tulum right now, but I decided it's been a, it's been way too long since I was last in present day. And, uh, sticky note right here that I managed to walk by all those times. Sticky note number two. But yeah, we're gonna spend some time in present day for this episode. It'll be fun. Being that life is both sacred and profane, priceless and worthless, fleeting and eternal we submit. Being that life can be as easily construed from primordial swamps, did I? primordial swamps, excuse me, as from a sinking petri dish we submit. Being that those who came before imbued us with life and may remove it as readily, should we defy or deny their original plan, we submit. Creepy. Actually, wait, hold on. How many of those am I missing? I'm missing three. 12 and 20. I'm only missing three of those? But we're gonna hack some more stuff, and I noticed that just before I fired this up, there's like a whole new pause menu here. What is this mission log? Return to your animus and continue working. Diary. Oh shit, I have a diary! I didn't know I had a diary. I just realized, like, I didn't know I had a journal, but this is supposed to be me. So it's like, I've been writing in this journal, but I had no idea. Plot twist. That's creepy. Hi, Juno. All right. There's still so much work to do. I have a new message. I had so many messages and I had no idea. Oh my God. We all know this is a great place to work, but it's natural that people move on to pursue other interests. Let's keep the gossip to a minimum and focus on what's important. Great games. Oh, I guess, I guess these are not in order. Here we go. Bienvenue! Welcome! Your communicator is your key to success here at Observe Entertainment. The recovery fee of $100 will be deducted from your next paycheck. Non-disclosure agreement. Uh, security breaches will not be tolerated. Have a great week. Welcome to the team. You should have lunch. We should have lunch sometime once you're settled. I'd like that. They're all saying hi to me, aw. Ahoy, mate. Welcome to the good ship of Stergo Entertainment, where everything is always jolly. <laughs> and we all love our work to death. That's creepy. Glad to have you aboard. I hope you're fun. The last guy was a little dull and, well, just kidding. See you around. M.O. Baudre. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I just wanted to say it's good. Ha it's so good having a new face on the team. This is a great place to work, but some people can get a little negative at times, if you know what I mean. Let's get a coffee later. Nice meeting you. If you have any problems with your animus, feel free to shoot me a message. I don't extend this privilege to everyone, but Melanie tells me you know your stuff. Good enough for me. Hey there, buddy pal. What's that they've got you... Yeah, that should be you. Researching over there. Hush hush, top secret. Good for you, Abstergo protege you. At least they trust someone. Glad it's you. Everyone, let's all give Olivier and Abstergo Entertainment a big cheer as he heads off to Chicago for our shareholders meeting. We believe in you, Olivier. So that's it? No explanation? We just keep going and hope nothing like that happens again? How can this even be legal? Oh well, another day, another dollar. Is this because of the hacking? Yo, that was seriously messed up, I agree. But come on, we get to make games. Isn't that worth a little weirdness sometimes? If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Ah! <laughs> I understand. We're all a little on edge. I hope you all take the coming long weekend to relax. Unwind, breathe easy, have a little fun. When we get back, we have some major butt to kick, so I want you all bright and ready. You know where John went? I got a bad feeling about this one. If you knew something, you'd tell me, right? Or have you become one of them? We all know this is a great place to work, but it's natural that people move on to pursue other interests. Let's keep the gossip to a minimum. Oh, okay, I see what that means. She's saying that he just quit. Okay, there's my diary. Files. I think I've- yeah, I see all those. Okay, now let's continue wandering around. Take a look at what we've got here. Can I go into Olivier's office? Olivier's office. This is Melanie's office. Oh, I don't think I've hacked this computer yet. 
I haven't, otherwise the screen would be red. Oh no, these! Oh, I suck at these. All right. This one is so slow. Oh God. Oh no! Jesus Christ. Oh, it turned red at the last second. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Dang it. That would have been so cool if I got that on the first try. Wait for it, there we go. Ooh, I almost didn't make that one. Okay. Let's see what's on Melanie's computer. Might be one of Desmond's files. Initial reports on Aveline de Grand Prix led us to believe she would be too controversial and impulsive to appeal to a wide audience. Teenage memories show her brainwashed and trained to kill political foes of her highly unstable mentor, Agate. Additionally, Aveline spent a disappointing amount of time in the Louisiana Bayou, consorting with smugglers of the lowest kind. Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> which we felt risked her appeal to our female audience, which is now approaching 50%. However, as Aveline matured, a new side emerged. A well-mannered and considerate lady of poise and compassion, Aveline came to embrace a new mentor, her stepmother, Madeline Delisle, a tireless fighter for the rights of slaves. Thank you, Madeleine. With some editing to prioritize this relationship, we feel Aveline's story will more than meet our needs. Our team recommends a go on this property. Get this one to market quickly. So they said no on Altair, but they say no on Aveline, which is Aveline. Actually, this guy, whoever narrates these, totally butchers their names. <laughs> totally butchers their names. He butchered Altair's too. I can't remember exactly how, but I remember just like being, oh my god, this guy says Altair's evil and mean and stupid, and he also butchers his name, so I freaking hate him. So they said no to Altair, but they said go to Evelyn. All right, interesting. Makes sense it'd be on uh, the Melanie's computer. Within us lies a hidden storage device, our DNA. That's cool. About 750 megabytes of information can be stored in a single molecule of DNA. Abstergo's indus industry's unique animus technology allows us to explore a vast universe of ancestral knowledge. Using the technology of... Yeah, I've read that already. I just didn't read the first two bits. Alright, so let's go in here and see if there is anything. Oh, I know these characters' names now! Last time I was in here, I hadn't played the multiplayer. That's the Firebrand, the Cutthroat, and the Adventurer. Alrighty. So it looks like I've gotten everything there is to get in here. Let's check in here. Hello, Rising Phoenix. I've seen this before. I saw this uh, one of the first times I ever ran around um, Abstergo Entertainment. Uh, back when I was still playing the story. But I think I I cut that out and planned on using it for like an open world shenanigans type thing, but I never did. And now I don't have that footage anymore, so that kind of sucks. But there you go. Now you guys know where it is. It's right next to this guy. In that second room by the elevator, I think. Is that where we are? I have no idea. Other than that, did I get everything else in here? Wait, can I hack this? Oh, I can hack the receptionist's computer. Get it. I'm missing, like, the most obvious ones. God damn it, I have to do this again. I also want to go back down to the bunker and look around. Maybe I missed some stuff down there. Go here. Hiya! Hiya! Hiya, hiya. Hiya. Hiya, hiya. Oh, damn it. Woo! Made it! <laughs> Alright, let's see what's on the receptionist's computer. Our initial reports gave us hope that Enzio Auditori would serve as an ideal candidate for future Abstergo projects. Enzio? His charisma, sexual magnetism, There's and no wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. 
However, his corruption by the assassin order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio was frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire personality is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. I hate how he mispronounces all of their names. It's so annoying. Enzio? Where did he pull the N from? And, oh, you know, whatever. They make them sound so bad. And most of that clip was from Embers, where, like, it was the last time we ever see him. That pisses me off! God damn it. I'm guessing we're probably gonna find one on Connor around here somewhere. And a lot of bandwagon riders are probably gonna actually agree with what the guy says. Let's go down to the servers and see if I missed a computer in there. I'm also checking for sticky notes because I still have three of those to find. Mm -hmm. Nope. I think this was my cell. I think so. Oh, here we go. I didn't hack this. Before we go in, let's just check bathrooms and such for sticky notes. No? Okay. What did that say? Security notice? Security notice. Is that all you're gonna say? Listed individuals are suspected in recent- Oh. If you have any knowledge concerning their whereabouts, please contact security immediately or speak to your direct manager. Ugh. They're on to you, Sean! Oh, these again. Dang, damn it. There we go, that wasn't so hard! Alright, let's see what's on this one. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous to see what's on these things. Oh, another one of these. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 27, October 21st, 1980. Host, Eileen Bach. DNA sample, SB1970. Miriam. My dear girl. There is no good reason for you to be here. But your intransigence requires that I detain you until you give me information I can act upon. The location of the artifact, perhaps. Or the whereabouts of your leader. Just a little something to give Minister Goebbels some encouragement that we are on the right track. How about a nice hug? He looks so sad in all his photographs. <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he? Perhaps you could pay him a visit yourself. He likes beautiful women. Actresses, musicians. Pirates. That's right, pirates. Pirates of the Edelweiss. Isn't that what you kids call yourselves? It's very amusing. And illegal, of course. Breaking Hitler's laws is half the fun. Oh, I imagine so. I imagine you were having a wonderful time just before we captured you on your search of friends. And that's the end of it. Damn it. Why can't we sustain the signal for more than just a few minutes? I need to relax. That's not the issue. This is dangerous work. These memories aren't in your bloodline. That's why it's not holding. There's got to be a solution. Uh, any idea what they mean by the artifact? I've heard it a I few don't. times now. Not sure. I don't think Miriam knew either. Not much comes into her mind when she asks about it. But she's protecting the other members of her group, the Edelweiss pirates or something? Yeah. Bartol Schink. Have we looked him up? No, we can. We should. Put your intern on it. <laughs> right. High priority. Yeah. <sighs> this isn't getting any easier. Jesus. All right. Damn it! Five months of this bullshit! We're floundering. Take it easy, Eileen. You're just stressed. I am not stressed. I'm frustrated. Good lord. It's so freaking.
freaking loud. It's so much louder than the rest of the gameplay. It's ridiculous. I, like, can't talk during it because you guys won't even be able to hear me anyway. But I guess that's when Warren gets the idea to, like, steal her idea, pretty much, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm missing three. I still have another one to find. Good lord. All right. Well, that was one of them. Here we go. I think this is the last one, guys. And it might be another Subject Zero thingy magic. Oops. Dang, nap it, just missed. There we go. Victory! Oh, no, it isn't. Asian Devaluation Report for. Otsoburg. I know that name. December 11th, 2008. This would have to have been leaked from within. This is a classified document viewed on our own network. Someone should hang for this. Strengths. Experienced agents, military, special forces background is a definitive asset. Obedient. Follows orders without question. See it unsullied? Novageris! Naya Batas! Anyway, I speak Valyrian. <laughs> Very little, but... Leadership qualities. Agent lacks finesse, but inspires loyalty in others. Dedicated. Agent is wholly committed to our cause. Definite potential. Could be IS material. Weaknesses. Agent has a young three-year-old daughter. Could be a... Aww. There he is. Other notes. Agent is ready to take on greater challenges. Recommend giving agent leadership responsibilities. Recommend sending agent on level 5 mission. Submitted by... Gesundheit Hasek. A dashing photo of Otzoburg. Labeled Helsinki, Finland. That's an initiate's photo. I've seen him. Unclear who took this or why. This photo, labeled Florence, Italy. November 30th, 2012 makes it clear we have a leak. Who survived to transmit this photo? Weird. Photo labeled Cairo, Egypt. De December 9th, 2012. This one's labeled Cairo, Egypt, December 12th, 2012. That is actually my cousin's birthday and she actually turned 12 years old on December 12th, 2012. So yeah, that's quite creepy. But uh, Sigma team strikes again, the poster claims. Abstergo agents kidnap William Miles. Okay, but Miles is not pictured. Could be anything. No, that's when they abducted him and then brought him back to Italy in Assassin's Creed 3, I think. Pretty sure. This updated agent evaluation of Otzoburg dated December 12th. No. December 3rd, 2012? Confirms that leak persisted and perhaps still exists. Demonstrated a great deal of courage, initiative, resourcefulness, and dedication. Distinguishing mark, facial scar, a burn, reparative surgery should be considered. Other notes. Following assassin attack of... Is that a date? Because I hope not. Oh, it's Gavin! That's William and Gavin! What does that say? What does it say? I can't read that. I can't read it. It's too far away from my screen. I'm full screening my capture window. <laughs> that doesn't help. Very interesting. All right, I think that's all that's down here, at least. Let's hit the back button. Does it give me a whole map of the area? It does. Oh, no, there's 33 out of 23. Good lord. Hacked is such a strong word. You're testing, hammering away at our infrastructure, and finding weak points for the sake of our security. Keep telling yourself that, and you'll be fine. I do love this building. Were the lights on in there before? I think the lights are off in there now. By the way, I'm not sure if I pointed this out before in a...
Okay. Uh, I don't know if I pointed this out in a previous episode, but look up there, above Sean's barista. It's the Auditori Villa in Montericcione. Bonjour. Bonjour, I'm not talking to you. I'm gonna talk to you. Hi! <laughs> exactly. Can you take your private conversation somewhere else? Thank you. Hi, Sean! You did dye you your hair. This morning. What's going on? Can I have one of your really, apparently disgusting coffees? I know, I Please? know. Please? I just... Please! <laughs> I wish I could talk to him. Has this guy learned yet? Let's see. Nope! He's still keeping his coffee on top of his expensive equipment. Yeah, it's a charging station for expensive equipment and you're drinking coffee over it. Oh, those are hackable? Really? And there is a sticky note in that room that I missed. Oh yeah, these are totally hackable. There's two of them right here. I never even thought. I'm a freaking idiot. See if we can do on the first try. Oh Jesus, that went up. Fuck. These do make me rather ragey. Oh no, I had it! I was right there! <sighs> Did it! Only on like my 37th try. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, this is probably the subject zero thing. Yep. Oh no, subject one interview session. Wait. February 12, 1981. Qualitative personal interview with subject one on ancestral research regarding Avalon de Grand Prix. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Not really. Aside from the headaches. They've been worse since I started staying in longer. But I, I don't want to stop. I like her. I want to know what she does next. What's it like? Reliving her memories. So different. The animus, I mean. The past. At first it was confusing. Distracting. Like New Orleans, the stench. I wasn't expecting all the smells. Smell is the sense most directly linked to memory. When I'm in her memories, it's like I can smell more than I usually can. In general, women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. I had wondered how that would translate. And we can handle anything else. Baby's diaper, suck it. Yeah. Can you tell me about Gerald Blunk? What about him? He and Avalon were close, but we haven't been able to ascertain if he might be your missing ancestor. Do her memories suggest anything to you? Um. Does this make you uncomfortable? Remember, these are her memories. You're just playing them back. It's not even acting. You're a researcher. Like you say, I haven't experienced her consummating anything. That, that would be... Anyway, I think maybe she was confused. Oh. Well, um, first of all, I don't really know for sure, okay? I mean, guys think about sex more than girls, right? That's a fact. As a researcher, what did you observe? What about unwanted attention from men? Well, I thought that would be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not into that, for the record. Not at all. Yes. I know. But <laughs> the way she dealt with it, it happened so often, she... Can we take a break, Mr. Vidic? Of course. Why is that so important? Ready to go on? Yes. Avalyn was black. And white. On her father's side. You're sensitive to that? I guess. I mean, I'm white. Aveline looks black, so that's different. But y you get used to it. Like, with the girl thing. Until someone makes you not used to it. What do you mean? I don't think I've ever had to think so much about what I'm wearing or how I'm walking. But Aveline, it's like... She goes through her whole life in these... Uniforms. People expect her to behave in a certain way. 
It's best when she goes out as an assassin. On the roofs or in the bayou. I think she was more relaxed that way. Can you imagine? You're only relaxed when you're going to kill someone. Let's stick to memories rather than imagination. What about the slaves? They're kind of just... everywhere. I mean, that, that sounds bad. Slavery is bad, but, but no one's acting like slavery's bad. It's fun when she frees slaves. Is it supposed to be fun? We're not looking for supposed to. Focus on what it is. <sighs> Initiate what? I heard initiate something. What did it say? Oh, that's creepy. I feel like a lot of that was not even necessary at all. But, I mean, subject one. I guess it's so he doesn't know who, like when Aveline had children, if she had children, who it was with, and they're assuming it might be Gerald since they were close. Maybe that's it. But okay. Learn a new fact about subject one. He's white. Yay! That really narrows it down. <sighs> oh well, that is still quite interesting. All right, let's move on to this one. Oh, 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 oh. I almost screwed it up on the first move. Oh, I'm gonna fuck it up. Yep. <laughs> God. Yep. Yeah. Uh. All right, hold on. You know what? We're gonna back out for a second because I'm actually all out of time for this uh, session, but we're gonna continue and find the rest of the stuff. Maybe get some achievements. Uh, next time. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my series of Black Flag shenanigans. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. I saw that! Behind us! There's something behind us! What is that? Oh my god, behind us! Dude! Dude! Okay, you. Whoa. Ah! Oh, jeez, it's my leg! Ow, my leg! My controller's dead! No! What are you doing?